It's the best night of the week. We hope you're hungry for pizza night with Nikki and Mike here on Mercado Airwaves. Now, here are your hosts for pizza night, Nicole Mancha and Mike Mercado. What is going on, friends? Thank you for joining us on another episode of Pizza Night with Nikki and Mike. I'm your host, Mike Mercado, as always, joined with the beautiful Nicole Mancha. Nicole, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I am doing wonderful. Thank you to everyone for joining us again. You can follow us everywhere in the universe. We're on Facebook. Like us at Mercado Airwaves. All our shows are produced by our amazing producers over at Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. There you can see how you get every single one of our shows ad-free and before anybody else. That's Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you're listening to us on iTunes, do us a favor. Rate, review, and share us, guys. That's iTunes.com slash Mercado Airwaves. And if you're on YouTube... Comment on the show. Let us know what you think about it. It's going to be a really fun episode. That's YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Heading in 2018, that channel is going to be a little bit more active with some of the stuff we have down the pipe. But, Nicole, it's a, it's a heavy hitter episode, as we like to say on The Good Brothers. Uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, just in general, before we get into everything, uh, what do you think about Thanksgiving? And is it, uh, what is it, uh, what, does it give you the, the cool, like the cool feelings? Like for me, it's one of my, my favorite holidays. So Thanksgiving is my least favorite holiday. <laughs> All right. That's um, a bad opinion. Yeah. Okay. I, I just, you know, I love seeing my family. I love getting together with everybody. Cause like my mom's side just doesn't get together as much. We're all kind of all over the place. Some of us are in Chicago, some are in Florida, Wisconsin, Indiana, so we all kind of group up in Indiana to, uh, you know, celebrate together. And I love seeing them. But just in general, I'm not a huge Thanksgiving fan. I never have been. And I think this year it's definitely bigger because my grandmother is going to be there for sure. So so we're going to try to make Nicole's elites uh, give us some energy for the holiday she doesn't really <laughs> like. Because this is a heavy Thanksgiving episode. So uh, why don't you guys stay tuned? We're going to pay some bills and we get back. Let's talk about some turkey and stuffing here on Pizza Night with Nick and Mike here on Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. Mercado Airwaves is brought to you by supporters at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, mikemercado2333. So even though, you know, you hate everything about Thanksgiving, you hate, you know, Eating good food and, and you know just being with family, whatever. Even though you said all that stuff in the beginning, uh, what's your favorite food about? What's your favorite food during Thanksgiving? Okay, so I my mom buys us a ham on purpose because she knows my brother and I don't like turkey. So it's kind of become this funny little tradition in our family where we always have this like extra honey baked ham, and it's really just for me and my brother who don't aren't big turkey people so that and then my aunt makes the stuffing that is literally to die for it's my those are the only two things i eat on thanksgiving see i on the other hand eat everything and anything i do not like him i don't i don't like pig in general like i'll eat bacon but like i don't like um just like pork or anything like that so ham is whatever to me i love dry dry what uh white turkey meat yeah like I, I can eat that for the next like two weeks after uh, Thanksgiving's over. Just some breasts and put that in <laughs> bread and you're good so to go. So the weird thing is though, like that, like what you just said. So Cozy is this restaurant. I'm not being paid to say anything about that. Yeah, but nobody pays us to Nobody anything. pays we, us nobody anything. Nobody cares about us. <laughs> but they make this sandwich and it's literally all the Thanksgiving stuff that you can imagine into a sandwich that I love. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's in sandwich form that I love it so much, but it like has the turkey and the cranberry and stuffing. And that to me is awesome. But for some reason, separate, just not a big fan. So where does Thanksgiving rank in the uh, on the list of holidays for you? So like the heavy hitters that uh, that we go through throughout the year. Um. So like what's number one? My number one holiday is Halloween. Okay, so we just passed that. So then what's number two? Christmas. Three? New Year's. Four? Hmm. Probably between Thanksgiving and Easter, like those two are pretty much the same. Easter because they have candy, like I love. Yeah, but, yeah, no, I okay, some chocolate. no, 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 yeah, no. Right. they have the the Hersh the the Reese's Easter eggs. And okay, those yeah, are yeah, like yeah. okay, you know, no, yeah, you're. We a hoard for those. them. Yeah. We yeah. hoard them. No, those are good. So those are that's my thing. But All right. and then uh, so that, that'll be your top five. So we'll say Easter's four and Thanksgiving's five. So your Probably, top five. Probably, yeah. Okay, I'm just not fine. not a big fan. Um, 
like Halloween is my absolute favorite. So then Christmas comes right after. And that's just because I think the season is really, I feel like Thanksgiving is that weird stepping stone, right? Because like you're going right into Christmas right afterwards. I am, you know, I already put the tree up. So So it's (laughs) Halloween, Christmas. Yeah. Um, New Year's. New Year. I think that's just because it's nice to New have Year, that New Year's, freshness. New Year's Eve, not New Year's. Right, yeah, New, Year's New Year's Eve. Eve. And then we'll say Easter and then Thanksgiving. Easter, Thanksgiving. Uh, so for me, I would go, man, I'm with you with Halloween and Christmas. Like, I think it depends on when you ask me. If you ask me in September, it's Halloween. Right. If you ask me in late November, it's Christmas. So I'll just go for sake of being different. I'll go Christmas one, Halloween two, okay. just so we change up the list. Sure. Um, three, I guess three, I'll go Thanksgiving just simply. And here's the thing. Like, I know a lot of people uh, have really good reason why they don't like Thanksgivings. Mm-hmm. You know, there's actual good historical no, reasons not to sure. like, the, like the holiday. But for me, it's all about, you, you know, we're, we're both really tight with our family, but it's like, especially with me, it's just another excuse to hang out with everybody. But every, you know, it's a chance to also drink a little liquor, hang out, watch some football, eat some food, just, you know, Shoot the breeze in a different yeah. type of atmosphere. And uh, that's why, you know, I have it at three. Uh, really fast, I'm going to end this list because I have something I want to get to about yeah. that. Uh, I guess 4th of July, 4th. I kind of forgot about New- the 4th yeah, of July. And New Year's Eve, 5th, just because, like, you know, it's it's a little fun. It's atmosphere. But, like, I was sitting, it's amateur hour. Oh, no, no. Just it's, like tonight is. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, just yeah. for all those uh, uh, listening. We're going to drop this actually on Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving for all you guys who are yeah, listening. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, but uh, I think Black Wen- Blackout Wednesday and, and... So funny you said that because one of my friends just invited me to go out for Blackout Wednesday and I was like, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to last. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> no, I appreciated it back in the day. Like, it was a thing because, you know, and here is before I got into radio, I worked a lot of retail. So I would work Thanksgivings a lot just as I enjoyed the the money. But uh, when I didn't, yeah, it was it, it was a lot of, it, you know, Blackout Wednesday was a lot of fun. But, like, I consider that nowadays New Year's Eve and that amateur hour, but... You know, so that's mine. So I guess we would have Christmas at one, Halloween at two, Thanksgiving fourth, uh, and um, New Year's Eve at five. Uh, but speaking about Thanksgiving, it's one of those holidays. I and I don't know what it is. Maybe as I get older, and I guess it's just the way we are together that like our our gift f meters is just very low when it comes to certain holidays and certain things, especially when we yeah. don't. But, like, I think a lot of people do Thanksgiving wrong. To me, like, there's going to be a lot of families and a lot of uh, dinners where people are, like, talking about stuff that they shouldn't be talking about. And, sure. I'm, and I'm somebody who, like, you know, it's very important, important to have, like, social issues, conversations and, and stuff like that. But Thanksgiving people use as a as a platform because it's family members that you don't see very often and whatnot. True. But it could be as easy as – Eat some food, drink something, and watch some football. Yeah. Like, it really is that simple because there is no other country that, that does Thanksgiving, as, as far as I'm concerned, right? That's our holiday. That's, like, an American holiday, I right? I mean, yeah, it's an American holiday. I think other people do celebrate a different Thanksgiving, so they're different. Like, every like there are certain sure, holidays like, okay, that are different so, days. But this specific day, I believe so. Don't quote yeah, me on and, it, but and, I'm and fairly I'm dumb, certain. so I could be totally wrong. So, and, and, and that's, to me, it's like, I think a lot of people do it wrong, and I don't know how you feel about it. Like, do you, how do you, do your general feeling about like right. the day itself and like so how people go through I, it? I, I think for me, a lot of it is a lot of that. Um, I don't love when people get into other crazy topics and stuff. I feel like just in general, I have a really large family on my mom's side. I mean, both sides are pretty large, but you've been to the one and like now all the grandkids are starting to have kids. So, you know, it's getting really big and I feel like we should take that time to kind of just enjoy it with each other because the reality is, is not everyone's going to be coming back next year. And I think, that it's also just because we're growing because sure. once people have kids it's harder to travel and because i do have members that live so far it's you know I, I i like the idea of thanksgiving being a time to be thankful like one of my cousins is pregnant with her second baby and the other one is getting married and you know i think we should take those times to be thankful yeah, for things like that opposed to like oh well like i was talking about this earlier and i kind of caught myself too where i'm like oh man i really should stop complaining because plenty of people don't get to go see their families and i wonder like and that's so true and like i get the i like i hate the memes that say it's like it's the one day a year where um, people say they're thankful and then the next day there's trampled over people it's like yeah that, that's true there are dumb people that that are that are hypocritical but like 
I think for for the majority of people, I like to think that it, it's the same case that people have people have that I that I go through where it's Thanksgiving isn't about you know a, a showing your thanks for for what you have because I feel like that's something you should do every day. Like right. I try to live like that. Like you may not show it the best ways every single day because you know you're human, but. You know, I look at it as just an opportunity to hang out with my dad and my brothers and you and yeah. my grandparents and then hang out with your family early, early on in the day. You don't get to see, you know, none. we don't get, it's just one of those things where, yeah, you, you enjoy the fact that you, you're, you don't get to do it all the time, but it's also shouldn't be so, you know, held tightly and like it has to be perfect. No, and, we don't sure. do that. and I think I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that that's how it is for, for you guys or for anybody yeah, listening yeah. right now, but for the people who I feel like overdo it because i know there was times when i was growing up it felt like people were just overdoing yeah. it and just i don't think it should be that hard cook a damn bird eat some stuffing right talk some shit drink some coffee eat some pie call it a day two hours and you're happy to go yeah i think that makes a lot of sense it's but it's like my whole feeling towards some of the other holidays like valentine's day as you can see it didn't make it to either of our lists for big holidays like yeah, that's not a real holiday right so. but you know what i'm saying but people but I'm do saying like but people it, do take it as that like sure. people make it but my Brian, biggest thing that's great for those who do kudos right yeah, yeah, but it. my biggest thing has always been with you it's like i want you to show me that you care on random days why does a day have to tell you to do that it's the same thing with thanksgiving why does there a day it's good to sit back and really take that time like to smell the flowers so right. really to take the time to stop working stop doing stuff like that and it gives you an extra grateful. minute to do it yeah, yeah it's that it's that extra and reminder being grateful sure. not even thankful like grateful for what you have Absolutely. because every day that we get to wake up in a house and have food in our fridge and have people that care about us we should be grateful but it does take a minute where we can thank other people and i think that's what we're missing it's not just being thankful for what you have being thankful to everyone else who has contributed to that absolutely and like again i think you should be doing that every single day and again being human it doesn't allow you to but it's an extra reminder and i think that's what's nice like i think if you use it if you use the thanksgiving mantra as a tool getting taking away all the corporate and historical bs that comes with it if you just use it as a tool, as a reminder, it's like, you know, every once in a while, I should just smell the roses, like yeah. you said, and just make sure I understand things. And then it, it brings me into this, like, you know, a lot of people add stress to it with, you know, you have family that comes in. And, like, that is stressful when you have people coming in that aren't normally there or whatever. But I I, I wonder, is it is that an appropriate time to, with all the added stress ready, to, like, have somebody meet your family for the first time? Right. Or like when you're so fresh in a relationship, like I feel like you should be able to break in a little bit more before like that. And it has nothing to do with like the holiday itself being sacred. No, but more, sure. There's added pressure and there's always going to be that one family member who's like, but I don't want them being in pictures because we don't know or anything like that. And like, you know, right? You yeah, yeah. No, I think with with my family, we didn't do it like that. We did it like a birthday party thing because we do a big birthday party every year for everybody just because almost all of us except for my poor brother was born. Yeah. between August and December like he's the only one and now you're the only one who's a spring baby yeah so you know we've always done that um for me it was super awkward I met your entire family on Thanksgiving because your grandmother yeah <laughs> invited, that's right your grandmother would like put me on the spot wow. in front of everybody and was but you like you at least met the most important people very no, early sure, but yeah. like I was not expecting to meet family everybody like your aunts and your uncle and your cousins like yeah. everybody was there and i didn't even know what i was walking into at the moment and you know what to, and at least by some grace of, of of miracle god universe karma my family is very similar to yours when it yeah. comes to like uh, your father's side of it like yeah. it's very similar that uh it's a little loud uh, there's the goofy ones. Like there's there's some similarities where there's a comfort level to oh, it. Oh so yeah, like, everyone was, was like taking pictures of me by the end of the yeah, night. So, so it's, nice. it was totally fine, but liquor. it definitely can feel very heavy when you're first coming in. Because my biggest thing was like, I don't want to be here. Like this is not. We've been together for a month. Like I it's don't know weird, where right? this is going, and, and it's I didn't stressful. realize it at the time because like we were kind of just doing our own thing. So like I didn't really put together added pressure. So to me, just advice for anybody listening, and and it just happens to be that time of year. It's like if you haven't. Introduce your significant other. Don't feel pressure to to do it right there. Like that moment is just – it's just – even if the day isn't sacred it, it, and it's not, right. there's added pressure, warranted or not warranted. So I just look out for that. It's like, just a lot me, of people. Yeah, just, just in lot. my opinion. Don't, don't make that the first one. Like maybe, you know, there's, there's so many – there's three weeks, four weeks in between Thanksgiving and a month in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. There's enough time to break them in even more so that right. when Christmas then comes, at least then – 
there's more of a cushion and like it's all yeah. relative to when how the relate the length of the relationship that's, already. No, was that when I first met Marcos? I don't remember, but I, I, I yeah, just I met so. I just had met yeah. Alex. Yeah. So I think if I would have met your brothers and your parents, it would have been really, really stressful for me, yeah. even more so because I know Alex wanted to meet me and he made kind of a big deal about it. So we made sure that that happened and then we were, it, it wasn't as bad, but it definitely caught me a little bit off guard because I wasn't necessarily prepared to have a full family dinner. <laughs> no, for sure. And it's like, I didn't even realize it, like how, I, you like, and you look at it like th- retro, with retrospect, retrospectively, you look at it and it's right. like, oh man, like that was kind of like a big like moment, like man, probably I should have that. I should have looked out a little bit more. Well, and it was one of those moments where, like, she asked me in front of every, in front of your parents and Alex and you, and you're like, later, you're like, it's okay, you don't have to go. And I'm like, we both know I have to go, like, because of the way, you know, and it's not, she didn't do it on purpose. No, right. Like, your grandmother's literally the sweetest person in the universe, but it's like, you're not going to say yes and then no later. Like, I should have, if I either wanted to stick to my guns and do it and say no, whatever, but it was already done. So I was like, you know what? Head first, like, let's do this, like, everything else in my life. <laughs> and 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 it's so true, and I think, but like, the, like there's so many negatives. I guess a one benefit is ripping the bandaid off. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's one of those things where if you just want to get it over with, I think it's really cool. So, uh, I, you know, let's let's do another ranking game. Yeah. When it comes to bringing a significant other over for the first time, Oof. let's write the holidays. Which is the worst holiday to bring somebody? Christmas. Christmas is the wor- Christmas. worst, right? How about birthdays or weddings? Weddings can be awkward, but sometimes because there's so many people, it's mm, not so bad. Sure. Um, more of a party. Yeah. Like, but there's and, so much more money. There's so much more money, but as long as you're paying for your plate, and that's sure. like a big thing for me, and my mom has always been like that. Like, If you know the plates are at least 50 bucks, you give 50 to $75 per person, and that covers – at least cover your plate so people can get their money back. You know what I mean? And it shouldn't right. be a financial thing, but with weddings being $60,000, like, it's a financial thing. So I think weddings aren't necessarily as bad because you have a lot of people. You have all of your cousins. It, you know, it becomes more of a friend thing. You can especially. lose your face. You, your face gets lost in the crowd. Exactly. Um, birthdays. It depends on whose birthday. Like I didn't. I wouldn't bring you to like one of my nieces or nephews' birthdays. Probably like yeah, look, in the anything beginning. intimate. Right. Anything really intimate, especially because like when you start dating somebody, you're not sure right. where and it's like, going. And that picture I, thing is real. No, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that I've always been very to the point with. I I don't like to introduce anybody that I'm dating unless it's a significant amount of time to my nieces and nephews. And, you know, they're not my kids, but still I don't want them to get a bad view of how relationships should be because you don't know what else they see, right? So I want to make sure what they see from me is only positive influence if I can. I think that Thanksgiving is a safe one if you're going to bring them. I think sometimes people have like, we. I mean, I'm Hispanic. We do tamale parties. So, um, yeah, for me, tamales don't come until Christmas. Right. So we do like a big tamale party. We do a big barbecue every year. A lot of families will do barbecues for like Labor Day. Like, I think those are really good ones because the atmosphere is a little bit more chill. You don't have to worry about gifts. Read the room. Right. You don't have to worry about gifts. Everyone kind of drinking, having a good time. Everyone's relaxed. There's no, there's a host, but there's no hosting. It's not like I have to worry about a 35 pound bird coming out of my, you know, coming out at this time and this isn't ready and this isn't set. So I, 35 pounds is pretty big for a bird. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. So it, it's it's one of those things where read the room, know your audience. Some parents are super excited. I also think that's an age thing. Yeah. Um, you know, some parents are super excited to have their significant other. If you live out of state, I think it's different if you're coming home because then you want to incorporate your significant other, especially if you've been together for a while, if you've been living together, you know, for a while. I think it's always good to right. have that. What about traveling? Like, Ugh, like, traveling. like <laughs> it, it, it is a pain, but like how important is it to, to, you know, work out, being able to see all the, all the families and like, make sure that you do get, you do share like, you know, even the, 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 you know, the, the pain in the ass part of just like driving, like, damn, I don't want to do this. I re- right. you know, you'd rather be lazy than not have to do stuff. You know, basically, like, you have to get over the laziness. But like, how important is that to make sure that you know you make time for everybody? Um, I think it's knowing 
how far away you are. So an hour to an hour, an hour to two hours, I would even say, you know what? You can probably do both. You can probably make everybody happy. And I think you should. Once you're kind of exceeding that mark or we're talking about planes, I think it becomes really difficult. And I think you kind of have to sit down and be like, all right, you know what? This year you're going to get Thanksgiving. They're going to get Christmas. And next year we'll switch because you just can't make everybody happy all the time. And flights are really expensive or doing something where you're like, can we do it this day? And then even if you can't do your whole family on one day, because I understand like you don't want to inconvenience everybody, but have like you're super close to your brothers, your parents and your grandparents. And like that's not to exclude anybody. It's just those are the people you see all the time and you have a really close relationship with. So saying, you know what, we do have to go to her house for Thanksgiving. Can we do something the next day? Your family would never say no. And I think it would be the same with my parents if I said, hey, I really want to do something with, you know, you guys and my brothers. Do you think we could? I I don't think it would be a problem. And I my brothers really don't come to our family stuff anymore because they have their wives and their kids and their own thing. Um, But I, I think that we all try and make a good good decisions as much as we can. Right. And I think being funky about this being 100, it's all about location, location, location. Oh, yeah. It's about convenience. Yeah. It's about like we all saw that crazy video from uh, Los Angeles of that gridlock uh, Thanksgiving traffic. Like, you know, Jesus. it is a convenience thing. Like, look at again, I'll, I, I stick to my guns. We all like being lazy. Yes. To a point. Some of us are way more active than others. But, you know, we all rather it be easy and not have to do certain things than, than have to. But... I think it's really important to, like, at the very least, make the effort. Yeah. It's like there's going to be things you miss. Like, everybody misses things. But it's all about the importance of it. So it's like in, in your case, you know, the grandparents ha- are the smart ones. And they head to the south, uh, to Florida yeah. to to get away from the snow in the winter. You got to make sure you we see them before they go. Absolutely. You know, show them the love. Hey, and then, you know, you, you, you make that sacrifice. But it's like. All right, I don't know if I'm going to do Labor Day this year. Sorry, or I'm not going right. to do the Memorial Day barbecue. Right. Well, there's certain things you just you know, but Christmas when the kids are all back from college or something like right. you got to do that. Like and, there's certain things. And being honest, like I, I definitely have skipped out on a few Thanksgivings with my family. Just a lot of times I did work because I was in food service well, and retail different. for yeah, a really it was long all time. About work. Yeah. Um, but there were a couple that I had off, and yeah. I, you know. I would choose to go with you and your family opposed to necessarily going with my family just because I did have to work during the day and it was too hard to drive. Um, but because my grandma's not coming back this year and she's going to stay in Florida for her time, you know, like for the full winter. Because she's smarter than all of us. Because she's smarter than all of us. Also, because I think she just – that's a 16-hour drive by herself. Like that's a long drive. So – um, I wanted to make sure that we go to Thanksgiving because that makes Thanksgiving more important to me it, than the, another the holiday. Point, yeah, and like that's that's and that's where it goes into the rank and the significance of like each thing. It's like if that if Labor Day that year ends up being more important than Thanksgiving that year, you got to go with the flow and you can't right. put so much stress on I want holiday. And I think that's what people just do themselves. Like I know so many mothers and fathers who are gonna kill themselves tomorrow again. This is coming off. Uh, we're recording on Wednesday. You know, on Thanksgiving Day, they're going to yeah. kill themselves. Like, they're going to kill themselves to make sure the house is clean and it looks perfect for Aunt Judy who comes in once a year. It's like, you know what? Aunt Judy's going to be fine if you give her a few margaritas and you give her some right. turkey, right? It's like everything everything in life is better with a little bit of alcohol and some good <laughs> food, guys. Like, that's the rule of – what makes a good wedding, Nicole? Alcohol and good food, my friend. What makes a good birthday, Nicole? Cake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and alcohol. And alcohol. <laughs> what makes a good Thanksgiving? Right. Food and alcohol. That's all it takes, guys. And have some fun, laugh. You know, you're going if you're gonna get into some political conversation, fine. But like at the end of the day, just laugh a little bit, enjoy it. Like it's, it, it's, it's a day to get. It literally is a day that shows how gluttonous this country is. We might as well enjoy it. For we might sure. as well enjoy, enjoy being a fat American pig. We're wearing my stretchy pants tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to wear tomorrow. She just said a t-shirt and jeans, but like to me that means my <laughs> Star Labs uh, sweatshirt, some jeans, and my Converse. I'm so not picky, so I'm probably the last person. Your dad is going to have a heart attack if he hears this. Just so you know. All right, you want to play a game? Sure. Uh, we'll Thank be you. back here on Pizza Night with Nick and Mike on Mercado Airwaves. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, Mike Mercado 2333 You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. Mercado Airwaves is brought to you by supporters at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. You know, now that I think about it, 
this game is going to be really bad because the first question, like, is so anti Nicole because she has <laughs> no soul. And, like, she she's the kind of person that goes to Portillo's and orders a hamburger. She's the kind, of person, who, she's the kind of person who goes to a pizza place and orders a sandwich. She's the kind of girl who goes to a seafood place and orders a steak. <laughs> So, so not true. He's such a liar. So people. here's, did you not go to a pizza place and order a salad? I ordered a salad. You said sandwich. So you're incorrect. And for the record, was it not a pizza place? It was a pizza place. Let's play a game. Nicole, like turkey or ham? <laughs> you're gonna. I'm gonna give you an option. Turkey or ham? Ham. Okay, that's the wrong answer. Okay, <laughs> stuffing or mac and cheese? Oh. Uh, probably stuffing. That's I the only wrong get answer. It it's mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. We don't ever have it at my family's Thanksgiving. That's not a Thanksgiving food. That's a lie. I mean, it's not a top tier one, but it's totally I've a Thanksgiving. I've never had it at my Thanksgiving. So mm. stuffing. You're being going to the wrong Thanksgiving dinner. Pumpkin pie oh. or pecan pie? Pecan. Pecan pie. Pecan. Uh, they both suck. It's all about cheesecake. <laughs> uh, canned. You're not going to like or this at all. homemade cranberry sauce. I don't like either. I only like it on my sandwiches. Guys, next week it might just be pizza night with Mike. <laughs> it totally is just going to be pizza night with Mike. I'm getting pulled off the air. Wow. Sweet potatoes, yes or no? Yes. But not with marshmallows. But it's like that's the only thing that's good about them. No, I love sweet potatoes. You see, I microwave them in the, uh, the microwave all the time. I nuke them. But your funky ass. Pie, <laughs> cake, or ice cream? Pie, cake, or ice cream? You don't like any of my answers when I give them to you. I pie, only like, cake, or ice cream? I like the frosting on the cake. I like the inside of the pie. <laughs> you guys can see, but his head is just like flush against the table right now. He's so sick of this. I have a feeling they're, he's yanking me off the air. It's going to be Mowgli and Mike Finish next answer, week. Nicole. And I like ice cream on top of my pie. I feel like that's a good answer. Ice cream on top of my pie? Pie a la mode? Come on, man. The right answers are pie, cake, or ice cream? Yes. <laughs> Turkey or ham? Yes. You Stuffing don't like or ham. mac and cheese? Yes. Pumpkin pie or pecan pie? Yes. Canned or homemade cranberry sauce? Don't be spoiled? Yes. Sweet potatoes? No. Those are the answers, Nicole. You don't you like. Failed. You don't like. Thank ham. you, everybody, for joining us on this episode of Pizza <laughs> Night with Nikki and Mike. Uh, Nikki, we are heading into the holiday season. What are yes. you excited about after we get done? Or you, you don't finish. You're not getting turkey. So what do we do after Thanksgiving? Since you don't. Care? I'm excited for our vacation that's coming up, and not excited for all the working out I'm going to have to do after I eat terrible food for yeah. the next three days. She's going to have to work out double for us because I'm not doing any work. Yeah, that's out accurate. After. So here's a little thing I mentioned on the Good Brothers that you can listen to here on Mercado Airwaves. We actually did a full spoiler review of Justice League. And the Punisher. Uh, hey, Nicole, you know what? Really fast before we leave, what you think yeah. about uh, Justice League? Um, I love Justice League. I can see where it had issues, but I absolutely love Justice League. Quick score out of five? Three, five. 3.5? Yeah. That's what I gave it. Um, what do you, two episodes, your five episodes in Punisher, how do you mm-hmm. like it so far? I love it. Okay, cool. Um, Anybody listening to, so you heard uh, we were playing this little game with Nicole. Same thing like you can hear on the Good Brothers. We uh, we talked about Justice League and the yeah. Punisher. But like I announced on the show after we played uh, Sophie's Choice over there, I have 10 poachers from signed by Jay Burrishow, the director of Goon 2, uh, Last of the Enforcers, starring uh, Sean William Scott. He's also the voice, the main voice in How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Love it. He was in um, – Tropic Thunder, he was in, uh, he's in a lot of the Seth Rogen movies. Um, it's a really funny guy. We have 10 posters signed by him. So, what we're doing now on both shows and every one of our interviews, if you send us a game with the answers, the ones that we pick and use for the show, we're going to send you the autographed poster. We have a bunch of all cool other gifts that we've been given through some of the shows that we do outside of here. So, and way to, you know, reward you guys for being interactive with us. Send us some uh, some questions, some games, some things yeah. that we can do here on the podcast. And to to the ones that we like, we got some pretty slick posters. We got some pretty slick uh, active fives. We got some hats. Like 
we'll, we'll hook you guys up. Uh, so, yeah, be interactive. But like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Comment on the YouTube channel if you're listening to us on YouTube. That's YouTube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. Uh, if, do us a huge favor. If you're on iTunes, like, rate, review us, guys. It means a lot. It helps us get up the charts. We really appreciate it. That's iTunes.com slash Mercado Airwaves. We're on SoundCloud, SoundCloud.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you're looking for an Android version of that. All our shows here are brought to you by our amazing producers over on Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. There you can get every single one of our episodes ad-free. And before anybody else, that's Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. You can see if we have a tier just for you. Uh, we actually have uh, some slots open. If you're a business, you have a small company, you want to sponsor our shows, go ahead and take a look. We have something really cool for you guys there at Patreon.com. Um, I can't believe it. It's Thanksgiving. It's one of the yes. best time of year. Uh, anything uh, anything else you want to say to the fine people before uh, <laughs> before we get into our food comas and we start our shopping for the holidays? I just want to say thank you. I'm super excited about the things that we have in the works right now. Hopefully by next week, I'm going to have the Instagram up and running. So you guys can check it out. I'll make sure I post pictures of those posters that we're talking about that are signed and some of the cool gear that we have so you know what we have and you can kind of see it through our eyes a little bit. Yeah, so uh, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Please have a wonderful, safe Thanksgiving. We really appreciate you guys making us a part of your day. Uh, we understand, you know, you have all the things you can do, all the stuff you can listen to. The fact that you take time to listen to Nicole and I here on Pizza Night with Nikki and Mike. The fact that you listen to us over on the Good Brothers with Alex and myself. It means a lot to us, guys. It uh, it really, we really do appreciate all the love and support. So hopefully, whether you're spending it with family, friends, yourself, whatever you're doing, uh, even if you don't really celebrate it, enjoy the four-day weekend. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Uh, We'll see you guys next time here on uh, Pizza Night with Nick and Mike. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for joining us here on Pizza Night with Nikki and Mike here on Mercado Airwaves.